There's no difference between a violin and a fiddle. Physically, it's the same thing. But the maker of this fiddle is a man named Michael Seitz, made in Mittenwald, Germany in 1878 in uh, July. I have actually, actually know the month, and I know all this because the information is written down on the inside. I took it to a man up in Crestwood, Kentucky by the name of Gary Cornett, and he opened up the back. And when he did that, um, we discovered the old German dialect language, Michael Seitz, made in Mittenwald, Germany, 1878, in the month of July. The reason why the information was hidden on the inside was because he sold these off as uh, Stradivariuses, which all violin makers did. Everybody, companies, uh, they wanted fake Stradivariuses to tell the customer, yes, this is a Stradivarius. Well, so when I had it, there was a fake Stradivarius label on the inside, but he cared so much about his work that he put the real information on the inside in pencil, um, uh, which is real special. I can tell you that the neatest part about this fiddle, this is wood that he had saved for a long time. But these, what, the, what these are, what we, we discovered, are wormholes in the wood that he plugged with thorns from the French Alps. And so, I don't, I don't know how many fiddles exist out there that actually have thorns that are plugging wormholes, but it's just one of those little interesting characteristics. My great-grandfather got it for doing undertaking work. And so this was his payment. You know, he wasn't the owner of the fiddle, he was the caretaker, just like I am. Uh, he passed it on to his son, and uh, his son passed it on to his son, and my father passed it on to me, and so I'll do the same thing. And it just, it'll keep on growing and keep on playing.